In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my sisters and brothers, may the Lord give to each of you the gift of his glorious peace. We're almost in the final uh, stretch here uh, for our Via Lucis, and I'm so grateful that you've been able to follow along with us uh, this whole time. And today we're up to station 12, so let's dig right in. Uh, the 12th station, the risen Lord appears, the risen Lord, sorry, ascends to heaven. We adore you, O risen Christ, and we bless you, because by your resurrection, you have given new life to the world. Our scripture is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or the periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Reflection. The apostles gazed up toward heaven from where Jesus, the light of the world, had come and to where he ascended. Christ returned to the Father not to distance himself from us, who had abandoned him while he gave his life for us, but to precede us to that house of many rooms where he is preparing a place for us, even as he guides our earthly journey and draws us to himself. I love this scripture passage. Uh, this is taken from uh, the, uh, the book of Acts, which is a follow-up from the Gospel of Luke. So Luke is the Gospel writer here, and it refers to the ascension of our Lord. And I, I love that line when the two men in the white robes, the angels, uh, basically are saying to the men of Galilee, why are you looking up into the sky? Or I think a different way of saying it is, A, get your head out of the clouds and get down off the mountain because have you heard a word that Jesus said, you've got work to do? You see, Jesus had commissioned them and he had appointed them and he had named them and he called them and so on and so on. And this is a nice way I think of the angel of saying, listen, your life is not about gazing up to heaven, waiting for Jesus to come back, but to prepare the kingdom of God on earth based on everything that Jesus had been teaching you over the past previous three years. I think that could be good advice for me sometimes. Hey, Joe, get your head out of the clouds. Maybe you too. Do we, do we spend too much time gazing upward? No action? Waiting and waiting and waiting for something that is out of our control? Maybe we're not trusting in the Lord. Maybe we're not prioritizing where we need to pray more or to focus more or to do more action. There's no easy answer and there's no solution to this. There's no formula to it other than what the Holy Spirit reveals to us. So I think for me, the takeaway is really very simple. Get your head out of the clouds, meaning get to work, get busy doing what God has appointed us to do uh, because time is of the essence. You know, if I've learned one thing uh, from the Via Lucis, everybody's in a rush, everybody's in a hurry, everybody's running, 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 because the message of Jesus Christ is so important, and so it is with us as well. And so if we're not taken up with preaching and sharing the message of Jesus Christ, but we're looking up to heaven and with our heads into the clouds, we've got work to do, because we always have to have that great balance of prayer and work. Let's pray. O oh, divine light, your return to the Father opens the way to our eternal dwelling place with you. Let your light illuminate our journey that we may walk and never grow weary, run the good race and never lose our way. Give us confidence to proclaim with every step that we are your Paschal people forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Thanks, God bless, have a good day, and please don't forget to follow us, like us, and share us. Take care, see you tomorrow.